Hey everyone, it's Sammy Caps. How you doing? I just finished a six hour live stream of No Rest for the Wicked. And this video I'm going to do, it's going to be a quick one just because I only played around six hours on first day of early access of No Rest for the Wicked. And I just wanted to provide my first initial take. And the reason why this is going to be a quick video is I've only played it for six hours. So I want to give it more of a run before I give you my full assessment of the game. But this is my day one quick assessment of No Rest for the Wicked. What you see behind me is me. This is my actual gameplay from my live stream tonight. This is basically the first boss fight, Warwick the Tom. And let's just say I died a lot and... That is my first thing that I want to mention. This game is very punishing and you are going to die a lot. As you can see on the top corner there, I actually am running a death counter because I am keeping track of how many deaths that I'm going to have in this game. I want to know ultimately at the end of this journey, however long it takes, and apparently the early access version of the game has, if you were to go from point A to point B, apparently it's around 15 to 20 hours of gameplay. So I want to keep track of my misadventures. <laughs> and I had a lot of them. So first of all, let's talk about what is really some of the comments that initially came out as soon as the game launched and basically it all has to do the optimization or the lack of uh, when it comes to this game and if you go into steam and you look at the system require requirements you'll understand why there was quite an uproar when this game initially launched tonight and that is this, the recommended system, system requirements for this game are a little bit SMH in my opinion. As you can see here, the processor, not minimum, but recommended is an Intel Core i5 or an AMD Ryzen 7 5800. That's some current technology stuff right there. Um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and this is where you're really going to do an SMH. And that is from a graphics card perspective, they recommend a 3070 Ti with 35 gigabytes of storage. Um, so you can understand why a lot of the players that don't have up to date technology when it comes to their PCs, I can understand why this recommended system requirement correlates with the fact that a lot of players don't have the resources to have this kind of technology and therefore why we were seeing such an uproar. And I was even getting it in my stream where people were coming in and saying, if you don't have an amazing PC, good luck. And that correlates to the next thing I want to highlight, and that is here are the current Steam DB numbers. So, no rest for the wicked. The all-time peak was around thirty-four thousand players, which you got to say is not that bad considering it's an indie studio. Thirty-four thousand players, and right now there's about twenty-three thousand people playing it. But what I want to show is obviously i think there's a combination of why this game is only at a 59 percent approval rating the reviews are very mixed as you can see and a lot of it has to do with a couple of things that i want to touch on and number one the game is not optimized obviously and that correlates to why the recommended system requirements are so high is become because the game is not optimized, number one. Number two, 
I also think there was a misstep with Moon Studios, and I don't think it's a big one, but unfortunately, everybody hangs on every word that development studios communicate and market, and this game was marketed by Moon Studios as an ARPG, and typical ARPG players have a certain mindset and expectation when it comes to ARPGs, and when they went into this game, if they did, they were disappointingly surprised to find out that this does not correlate with what their version of an ARPG is. And I got a lot of comments about this tonight. Um, this is not an ARPG. This is not an ARPG, that kind of thing, right? Um, so... I think the labeling from the devs that this was an ARPG left it susceptible to that kind of discussion and hence why we have a 59% uh, rating on Steam. And this is why we have all the mixed reviews because this, if there's a couple of constant themes in the comments that I've seen, number one, it's about that you need an amazing computer and this game is poorly optimized. And number two, this is not an ARPG. Now, now I'm not here to debate or discuss that. However, let's go back to my gameplay here. Um, I have to say, visually, this game, the world is beautiful, stunning. And I love depth that the world has when you're traversing it it's a very immersive world um, it really sucks you in this fight is unbelievable it kicked my butt over and over and over until someone in my chat said why aren't you parrying him and you'll have an easier time now unfortunately it took me a while to figure that out and um, yeah, eventually we down Warwick the Tom. I think it took me like, I don't know, like 15 times, uh, if not more. But what a fight. This just was an unbelievable fight. And, and to be honest with you, even the actual, what I would say, like the regular, the regular enemies that you're going to face, every fight is uh, a challenge. I do want to make one comment around that, and that is I find even the regular foes, um, when it comes to you hitting them and stunning them, it seems like they're almost invincible, which I think that needs to be fine-tuned. There needs to be some sort of reward for getting in a hit on a foe. It just seems like they're invincible, and you're the one that is not. And I just think that the scales between the player and the foes are tipped too much in the favor of the foes. Just, I think it just needs a little fine tuning. Other than that, the combat in this game is unbelievable. And if you notice like what I just did there right now, the dodging and rolling in this game, the, the, the control that you have is unbelievable thoroughly enjoyed the fact that i was able to roll and then turn to the enemy uh, all in the same one action it's just the combat i'm i'm thoroughly enjoying the combat an a plus plus look at that like just roll and then turn while i'm rolling it's not just rolling a to b um, you really do have full control so Kudos to Moon Studios for that. I really enjoyed that aspect of the game. For those of you that are not used to playing Souls-like games, you are going to have a huge eye-opener. And this is a very punishing game. Be aware of that. Now, I dismiss all the comments of these players that are saying this game sucks, it's too hard. Um, then you have no idea why this game was built the way it was built. You clearly have never experienced a Souls-like type game. This is not Diablo. This is not PoE. You're not 
blasting the screen. You're not going 100 miles an hour, killing 4,000 enemies in two seconds. That is, if that's what you want, this is not the game. Um, this is a very challenging, but also rewarding game. Um, so I wanted to give you my initial thoughts. I do think that they need to fix the system. This game needs to be better optimized. Now, remember, it's early access. Um, but even though this is early access, I, I, I don't know. I, it's an SMH moment for me because in today's world, I don't understand how games are not, well, I understand why they're not optimized. I just don't understand why they would make that decision not to fully optimize it. You know this is going to be the outcome with the uproar of a lot of the player base that you want to try your game, that you want to, obviously they want to have more people try the game. They want as many people playing the game um, to not have it fully optimized, you're just alienating a huge chunk of the player base. Um, so I think that was a misstep. Um, other than that, get prepared to die, guys. <laughs> get prepared to die. You're going to die a lot. But that's okay. That's part of the game because that's what makes this game so rewarding is because when you fail and fail and fail, it makes you search for and dig deep to get past it. And when you do, the feeling you get is so rewarding. That's what makes these types of games so much fun. You just get to get past that. The only other thing I personally do not like. Now, I like the fact that this game doesn't hand hold your hand through the game, like as far as markers and stuff like that. However, again, I think if I can add my two cents here, I think they need to, again, balance it a little bit better. Like getting lost in this game is very easy. I am not a fan of the map, the current map UI. I'm not a fan. I have to click my controller like five times to get the map up. And it's just... It, I, I don't find it very player friendly, the map. I don't know if a mini map is required. Again, I don't want them to get to the point where they're holding our hand and walking us to where we need to go. That's not what I'm asking for. But the fact that I have to click on the controller five times to get the map up, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, but I gotta hit the menu, then I gotta scroll down the menu to go find the map and then hit the map and then the map comes up it's just time consuming and annoying um so there has to be a, a a better balance something has to be changed in my opinion when it comes to the map ui so i know where i'm going um because not that the game is telling me where to go but at least visually i'd like to see what road i'm at am i going in the direction of the quest that's all i want to know and in order for me to do that i can't do it with the regular screen of the gameplay i got to go into the menu find the map option hit the map option and then the map comes up i wish there was a quicker way now maybe i'll find out that i can hotkey it i don't know we'll see this game I think once players settle down and get used to the fact that this game is punishing but rewarding, I think this game has the potential, if they fix all these issues, to be a really, really rewarding game. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. How did your day one go? Did you try No Rest for the Wicked? Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear them. And as usual, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.